Hello there, welcome back to another video. Um, bit of a different format today. I loaded up lowfuelmotorsport.com and I went to see what the LFM Rookies race was. And it is the Red Bull Ring, which I don't own and I don't intend to buy quite yet anyway. So instead, I'm doing the Rookies, uh, sorry, the Sprint race this week which means learning a newish track for me, Alton Park. Now, I did used to drive this on Project Cars 2 every so often in a Formula Ford car that is a lot lighter and has a many times smaller engine than this massive hulking GT3 Lambo. So, I thought, why not have you guys hop on board and watch me make an absolute fool out of myself lapping Alton Park for the first time in years in a car with honestly a terrifying terrifying amount of force power don't please don't judge me so much what you got to remember is the last couple of videos was the product of quite a bit of practice to get me up to that point and now you're watching me at the very opposite end of the practice scale as it were oh okay luckily that braking board was in the perfect place for braking to the corner this car is very tail happy i'm running the giardia setup which obviously is good to get used to because you can extract so much time out of it but it is tail happy and even the aggressive preset in the base game is, or the one that the game provides, is a lot more stable than like a really like pro setup like this is. Right, where to break? Okay, it's way too early. So next lap, I've got to remember to break a bit later here. Into the hairpin. The hairpin is like truly terrifying because. Because you go in and you see it approaching you really, really fast. But then because it's banked, you can usually get it stopped. Right. Ah, perfect. Oh, over the curb. Sorry if I sound a bit constipated, I don't... Okay, noted you not hit that bump. So far, this is an experience. Okay, that blue barrier is actually the perfect breaking point. I'm trying to like, as I go around, just like suss out breaking points as I go. And I've been quite lucky in that there are a few corners where the breaking point kind of perfectly matches up with where I want to be breaking anyway, which is very fortunate except for this first corner and as far as I can remember there's no reference on the banked hairpin about where to break so that one's still a work in progress very bumped into that corner but just I'm getting better there every lap okay this time try and keep my foot in until Okay, it's still backed off too early. Interestingly enough. I can carry a lot more speed into there. But I have no idea where to break, so... Oh, come on. Okay. Let's stop being silly. TC's on two, which is doable. It's just... This setup is not very forgiving. But it will be fast, so I'll stick with it. It's quite rare that I haven't even started practice until Wednesday, I've just been busy, and I'm away this weekend, so I only have a couple of days to practice and get my race in for this week. So today will just be practice, probably, and then... The thing is, this setup is so tail-happy, I'm almost considering... I'm almost considering um, 
sticking to the aggressive preset. Which, ironically, is like a lot less aggressive than this, let me tell you. Like, this video doesn't end until I manage a clean lap. You see, on a lot of games, and in real life, I believe, there's like actual, or maybe not in real life, but typically there's a runoff there. I used to watch British touring cars a lot around this track. I'm trying to remember if there was a runoff or if it was just mud, like it is in this game. Line turn in for 2-2 two -two there. Oof. I've got to be braver through here. got to be brave. Don't break, even though every five of my being... It, the car wanted to tip there, but it didn't. Oh, you see what I mean? Just, I absolutely sent it in there. And just about came out alive. You can probably push the braking a bit more into there. Now, because the car is super duper pointy and on the nose with the setup I need to be apologies for just stopping my train of thought as I go into the braking zone but I really I really need to concentrate okay Sunco Barrier is perfect braking point Just losing the car so much. <sighs> My god, okay, the car really wants to get away from me there. So this is a clean lap, it's just not very fast because I've lost the car at several points. And I'm about to send it wide. But there is runoff there, interestingly, a little bit. Just into second to see if it's what the car needed, and it wasn't. Right, hold my nerve, hold my nerve. Oh my god, the car really wants to tip through there. I've got to be so, so careful. Maybe early upshift is the answer through that corner. The car is so awkward through there. To be honest, a lot of the track is like that because it's so narrow and the turns are really tight. It's like very, very abundantly clear with this track that the circuit was not meant for cars this big. <laughs> but I'm glad they raced in British GC because it's jolly exciting to drive this. Besides, this is where James Baldwin put it on pole, I believe, when he did IRL Brit GC, which is pretty awesome. Nice and jumped through that. At this corner, I'm going to push the braking a little bit more. And it was getting on the throttle that really upset the car. And again, oh my goodness. I actually hit the apex that time. Gained a bit of time. This is going to be the one. I'm just remembering how sideways the car was through this next corner. Oh, a lot better, a lot better. Oh, don't go off. Oh, I just touched the grass there. Lost so much time. Oh well. Gained a bit under braking. The car just wants to swing like a pendulum under change of direction on this setup. I know it's a skill issue, but even so, like, I'm not complaining about the setup, but it might just not suit me. 
which is fine, that's how it goes. Right, this time, no massive slide out of the last corner, please. Again, the car just really needs to get loose, but this is going to be our lap. Thank you very much for watching. I will keep practicing in my own time. I hope you enjoyed my absolutely terrifying first time driving Alton in quite a few years. And, yeah. I'll catch you later. I'm just, I don't even want to know what to do now. I'm just absolutely... Yeah.